All right, welcome back. I mean, it's always something, right? Going to rescue our W990 here. But uh, we are in the reactive zone. And we are also... Today is day one. We're trying out a different recording software. Um, because I think part of my problem with audio was maybe with Streamlabs and how I had it set up and or how it was being used or memory leaks or something was causing issues because this is definitely a lot more fluid in how it runs and I'm using OBS so we're going to give OBS a try get this back upright come on will it stay Yep, it'll stay. Okay. Let's shut off that other one. I don't know why I switched that way. But, uh, so today we're gonna just do some work out here, and I don't really have a set goal in mind besides for getting this particular task done, this all boarded up contract that you see. And we, uh, we kind of prepared, even though we didn't really need to, I'm finding out, but... We did need to get metal rolls because we're very low on metal rolls here. This is where I originally got my metal rolls that um, got used up in the cabin creation and then ended up uh, burning through metal rolls. <laughs> um, yeah, this is uh, this is where we got them from originally because I was coming from this way. Uh, let's get the crane going. These pick back up. This this turn right here, this little hole right here, is knocked over two of my vehicles so far. So I have to remember that. Just go in the mud. Don't try and go. So what I what I've been doing is trying to go on the side of it and feeling basically pretending that it's you know not there and then flipping into the hole. It is what it is. Um, we are going to, I'm probably going to do a couple of cuts just because I'm still nervous about all of the audio issues I've been having and lockup issues and whatnot. So I'm probably going to like cut it at some point just to listen to the recording. Um, and we'll, we'll find a reason to do some sort of cut. Come on, get through there. This is the problem going in it is... It's a very deep mud hole, but if you try and go around it, you you sink one tire into it. So I gotta find a better way around. Probably go up high or something, or just cut through the side. There's a lot of stumps over there, though. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out a better way through there. Again, learning routes. <laughs> I am learning this route right here. Go through the field, avoid that mud pit, and just kind of hug the tree here so you don't get too bouncy and then once you get past this little mud spot here you can cut back over that's one that's worked out for me so far oh shoot I forgot my fuel trailer and we'll bring it back with the other fuel truck it's okay I was gonna leave the fuel trailer up here but So yeah, I've been kind of messing with the settings of sound again in a new recording software. Engine sounds seem to be pretty good. Mic seems to be pretty good. It has the same uh, noise suppression, so hopefully it's sounding good. Ooh, careful. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have uh, things set up at our base over here. Um, we might... We might start logging soon. Um, you know what? I should just bring this with me. Let's have a train. That's not the one that I wanted to winch to. Since we're both going this way. I think I made a path, right? Uh... Yeah, and I was just going to cut through the fields at some point. Oh, 
But yeah, this unlocks a logging task called Backlog, which yeah, I believe unlocks a warehouse that provides us with medium planks, which we start to need a lot of. So I think it'll be a good thing to have that warehouse unlocked. Um, let's see. Try and make this, get this a little closer. Gotta make the train do the turn as well. There we go. In fact, uh, I like that. I like that right there. Gotta get ourselves a screenshot. Poor exhaust on this thing is all bent up. It's pretty funny looking. Hello, city goers. I've come to use your roads because they are not mud. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll probably, after we deliver this stuff, I'm going to cut and just watch the video back real quick to make sure it sounds okay and doesn't have any weird crackling noises. Because a couple episodes ago, that really, that really bothered me that I went through the entire, I didn't know what to do with it. Um, I was thinking about like dubbing music over the whole thing and doing some sort of voiceover, but it, I would, I don't really run a script, right? Kind of from the hip. It's just how I do my things. And uh, me remembering something, you know, obviously I could come up with new, new interesting things to say as I was going through, but there'd be a lot of me going, I don't remember what I was doing here, so, uh, uh, yeah, this is this is what we're we're uh, watching myself do the stuff. Yeah, this is muddy. Again, I could probably go up here, but it looks like I'm gonna tip into this hole again. I could probably oh, you know what? I could probably go. This is where I should have been going through the fields. Okay, yeah, I should have been going through these fields for all of this. Oops, see, I, should, I need to make paths. I need to remember to make paths. Even if it's not the right path, I can change it when I get there. But yeah, this whole section, I can just cut through these fields. Uh, I should have probably cut there, too. So yeah, for at least a couple of episodes, I'm going to be doing some random cuts uh, just so I can, like, pause the game and listen to my recording to see if there's any issues so I don't do an entire hour recording because that was one solid recording that episode that uh, got screwed up. And I found out about it after that I was going into editing and I'm going, why does this sound so crappy? I don't know what's going on. So, it is what it is. The woes of computer problems, right? I mean, I guess I could be playing, which if I knew how to do it, I'd probably maybe do it on PlayStation 5, but then I would have to start a whole new save. I don't think you can transfer a PC save to your PlayStation 5. But. Okay. So this is two parts of this, and then I just gotta go back and get two metal beams, which we have two metal beams left. Let's move this out of the way. Went out of range. All right. Time to go get two metal beams. So that is going to be, let's make our path and 
see about following it this time. Somewhere into the field, hopefully. Like, we're just gonna go like that, and hopefully it gets us to where we need to be. And then, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think we have to cut down here somewhere. That was correct. Go here. Pick that up. We can always get gas if we need it, because we know gas is uh, cheap here, but we do have quite a bit of a fuel trailer left to use, so we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna cut here, and uh, we will be back once we get down to the warehouse. Okay. We are here, and I think... Let's see how much stuff we have left. We have two of those left. Oil barrels are infinite. Four me oh, we do have four medium planks. Uh, okay, so we could do some of the medium plank things. We have two, ooh, two of these left as well. I hope we don't need these for anything else. I'm going to use them, but we have six wooden planks. We have a whole bunch of... Sir oh, okay, so we did have a bunch of service spare parts as well. All right, well, it is what it is. Hopefully we didn't need those for something else. Uh, oops, before, we, before we take off, I'm going to take the path back that I took because it worked out okay. Except for the... This last field is a little bumpy. We might, like, try and the side before we cut through. We'll figure it out. Again, learning experience. Uh, so let me know if the audio is... I took the game volume down essentially one decibel of amplification because I felt like it was maybe a touch on the loud side. So this is just slightly lower. The mic is the same. Let's see, this is a good test for the uh, noise cancellation. I feel like I should go through this field too. Of course, I have a really heavy load this time. It's going to react differently. This is the hay quest. I gotta do this at some point too. Pick up three hay bales. I think what we're going to do, I have, um, I did bring over a railroad section for derailed two as well. So we might do that since I know we have medium planks and ooh, wait, we are digging in. Hopefully I have enough fuel. I should have gotten fuel. I guess the W990 is there and it's got a spare, a bit of spare. Let's not flip, please. Come on, Fleet Star, I believe. But yeah, we're getting close to doing some logging. Uh, I gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that. It's... It's daunting. Like, there's several short logs as well, which you don't get a trailer for, so I'm definitely going to want to, like, try and just loose pack those into something, and then I'm probably going to, like, run a crane vehicle separate and just run two vehicles, right? Run a crane vehicle and run a carrier vehicle, so, like, run a medium log vehicle with loose medium logs. Hope that they don't fall out because I don't have a crane holding it in. I don't think I have anything. We'll look at the fem, I guess. I don't think the medium log frame allows you to use the crane at the same time. So 
yeah, this field right here is, is a little bit bumpy. But once you get through, once you get through it, I could probably just go that way. It doesn't get super muddy yet. But yeah, once you get into these fields, it's like great. In fact, you can probably see the path that I went through because of the knockdown. Uh, Stumps. Crap. I forgot. I gotta get back over this. The trailer's not gonna go over it. Totally forgot about that. At least I didn't like blow something up. Okay, and then we can kind of really know how to get through here. I hate to like cut through the woods with this. Guess we just have to kind of suck it up and deal with it. and stay on the side. Hopefully we don't flip. Turn into it, maybe. Where's the end here? That kind of worked. Maybe the other side would be better. Uh, we should, once we're empty, we should have enough fuel to make it back to the garage. We can always steal a little bit from the That'd be 990. That's probably the smart play. All right. One task finished. That was good money, too. Okay, um, so let's see what I, th so this now means we should be able to do backlog. Yep, this guy, which unlocks warehouse access, but we need two short logs, four medium logs, one log log. The only log places on this entire region are in Oviro Hills, and they're like all the way in the opposite corner. So all of the logs have to come from there or these like miscellaneous, there's a couple of like log trailers that have medium logs, but there's only three of them. I've used one already. And then the trailer went away. I don't know. I'm assuming these are just ones you can have. The ones in... There's two over here in Pine Line Bay. These two. There's a log trailer right there that's got logs on it. And there's a log trailer right there that's got logs on it. So... Oh, there is a task over here. Where is that one? This one that requires four medium logs as well, and I feel like we should probably use these close ones for that. Cause yeah, there's there's no other logs or log trailers here anywhere. So yeah, I guess I'll have to figure that out once we get to logging. Um, but yeah, I want to do this quick. And let's get back into here and hop into our CT681 that's down here. Oops, need some fuel too. Just cause this guy's getting low. The woes of fuel. Um. Okay, yeah, we go this way. Over this. Can we take the railway all the way? Question is, is this the damage track? Or is this the damage track? Uh, oh wait, damage track. Okay, it tells you which one. Block track is this. So medium planks go here. Alright, good. So... This one. So yeah, we should... Be able to just take the railroad. Doesn't look like it's blocked anywhere. 
and drop this off. So let's go do that. This came all the way from uh, Innovana as well. If you're bothered down there, we should we should look and see before I brought the vehicles over. I was like, we should really look and bring something with these empty trailers, and that's what I did. So I just kind of picked a couple of things and grabbed stuff from there, and I was like, this is probably the best way to at least not necessarily be the most efficient, because I don't know if this is the right order of things, but Better than bringing empty trailers. We brought metal rolls and a bunch of other stuff. Yep, this path looks pretty clear. Except for this right here. I just don't want to tip. It's looking kind of tippy. I can stay down on the flat here. As long as there's no stumps. Okay, there's that piece, and then, okay, so I do want to go this way, I need to leave my trailer up here, but we're, I kind of want to grab this water carrier trailer, and fill it up with water, and maybe do some of the water stuff, but supposedly it's still kind of buggy, and it can bug out, and you have to like complete another task before you do it or cancel it and then re-pick it up again so i think that's what we're gonna do um i don't know if i can get through this bridge i don't think i want to risk it let's go let's follow this path this way we can get around this stuff follow this all the way up go get ourselves a and we'll, we'll just have to come back and get our trailer means we're going to lose our fuel. It is what it is. Actually, you may as well uh, look for that. Where's that? This one. Running dry. Let's grab this right away. Question is, how much water does this hold? Do I have to make two trips? I guess we'll find out, huh? Oh, oh no. Hopefully I can... I should be able to. This thing's got a long enough crane. Use the water carrier trailer with the crane.
Okay, we are here. Trying to figure a good place to park this trailer. Um, where it's like out of the way, but yet accessible again. See if I can back it into here. Testing my backing skills. Nope. 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 I'm gonna eat that car. That's okay. How dare you be in the parking lot that I want to be in? Ooh. this again. Okay. I'm going to detach this and we're just going to be right back in a moment. Okay. We are back. Alright. We do get to keep this. That is good. First time I've been over here by this one. Okay. Let's go get some water. Unless it's already got water. Possible it does, but I guess we'll find out. trips isn't it 978 we need 715 502 and 476 so 502 and 476 equals 978 I think after we get this first one we're gonna come back and fill up again how's that sound we can get out right here looky that looky that right there Yep, we'll come back, fill up, get gas. Actually, probably don't even need gas. Um, should we go through this way? Or should we try and... I remember this being kind of muddy, too. I guess it is what it is. Oh, it says there's a path that way. gonna take it Ooh, there's a big stump right there stop okay Be uh, nice if we could just fill up from this river, hey? That would make way too much sense.
water boy fills pools with lake water. Does <laughs> it like pull up into people's backyards with this thing and fill up their fill up their pools with it? You're like, yep, yeah, this is this is clean water. This is just for you. Come in. No, it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Not for this, at least. Okay. So let's just see if this actually goes from 978 to like 2 something after we fill this up. If it lets us fill this up. Let's see if it's bugged. So, uh, oh, okay, it went away. That's always like, where did it go? Okay, so so far that one's working, uh, except we have our wonderful can't see a thing tower issue. Um, sneak around behind this house, probably not. Let's go get more water and then we'll fill up the other two and maybe find a different path back to these as well maybe might not have to go up yeah because that should be 978 exactly 902 476 978 Hopefully it doesn't bug out and I have to start this all over again. That would be possibly enraging. <laughs> Not as much as cabins getting stuck on loading platforms, but still annoying. I still gotta come back and fill up again. Like that was that pissed me off because it was a it was a finite resource, right? Like I'm using up things that are in in the case of where I got them from was obviously I used two that I don't get back. Now now if I need those two that I used, I need to go somewhere else to go get them, you know, or take a thing to the crafting zone and craft them, you know. Oh, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Uh, yeah, I should be making paths. Just coming to say hello to my, uh, you know, parked vehicles over here. See how they're doing. Alright, um, where is... Oh, we gotta come across anyhow. Alright, uh... Yeah, we can cut through this way. Question is, is, do we come from this side and go across, or this looks like this side and going across is better? We'll figure that out. Might have to stop and get gas. I guess we'll find out.
But yeah, once we get this uh, this backlog contract done, then I think that's the entire list of things that... I guess there's still things that say they're warehouses on other maps. Like, I'm not really sure what they are, though, but... I don't know, I think, I think we only need two medium planks twice on this map. Because the other half of Derailed 1 is two medium planks. We can also uh, swap vehicles. I do have the... Uh, I think the White Western Stars in the garage here has got it low set already. We could swap to that. Carry around our trailer, or we could bring the Taiga back out, or we could... A lot of different options here. Okay. Yep, avoid the tree. I'm gonna turn around in here though. Come back out. Oh, backing up trailers. Let's just go around the circle. It's way easier. So much easier. You know what I could do? Pause. Uh. Go hit up our fuel trailer. And I don't have to stop and get gas. Could be okay again, but I like to play on the side of caution. And if there's fuel nearby, I may as well fill up. Daytime. Okay, nine seventy eight. And let's go this way. This is another another map that I feel like the Fleet Star and the White Western Star can be utilized on without uh, much detriment. Like I said it's really just just the one map. Just Iron Line is. Uh, I mean, I, I'm sure there's some shortcuts to get around, but like we found a couple of them obviously to make it so we could get through. But it's just it's a tough place to navigate when you first get here. Need to start making paths. Uh, where am I going? We're going this way. And then we'll cut through the fields again. We'll do our cut through the field. Let's see if we can get like over here. And then come in from this way. Why don't we come in from that way? Let's try coming in from this way. Like past this house. Through here, through there, and then we'll veer back into the field if we can, hopefully. Through here, 
through there. Uh, we probably have to go around. Would be my guess. I guess we'll we'll play it by ear from here. I'm just gonna put a line to there, and we'll have to, we'll go around if we have to go around. And again, I really hope these don't bug out, but we will see. <laughs> See if we if we go right here, what does it do? That's not terrible, except at the end here it seems a little tippy. Yeah, I guess there's probably a better way through there. We'll find out. We'll figure something out. Trial and error. Okay, where's those stumps? It's not this one, it's the next one. Yeah, go towards the bush. Okay, so what do we... if we go this way, is this path... and yeah, that path looks pretty dry. Yeah, we cut across the road like this. We can avoid the bumpy field. That works better. That works better. doesn't happen you, you go slower but you don't take random damage I guess if you're running in high with like the high range gearbox it probably still happens but I almost never use that gearbox I don't even know if I have that gearbox I think that's another Alaska upgrade that I don't know if I got or not because I just don't like using it. Alright, cutting through the house. Hello, we're home. Alright. Can we sneak through here to the first one? It's for sure, it looks like. Oop, stumps. Be wary of stumps. Okay... Yep, there's our 476 remaining. Alright, let's go this way. Please don't be a stump in here. I can't see. Same in here. Do not grenade me. No, we're in a grenade. <laughs> go. This is working so far. Random damage and auto. More random damage and auto. Like, it doesn't matter what speed you're going either. I feel like auto is just the gear range that makes you take damage. I, I want somebody to prove me wrong on that. Sneak through. 
Like we can maybe sneak through. Oh yeah. Alright, so far not bugged. Um shut this off. So where's more water? Electricity. Soaking up the sun. There's the monument one. Oh no. Oh, that's where we need more metal beams. Uh, no, we gotta get those all the way from probably in flatlands and metal rolls too. So we need to go get more metal rolls and more metal beams again. That's gonna be an off cam thing. Uh, more logs. What else do we got? That's not I, what I expected. I was hoping that would be water, but uh, here we go. Okay, so there's another two fur in flatlands. Do one and then do two. So we have to take this this carrier all the way there or buy another one. Oh, this is the garbage. I've seen the garbage quests. Holy cow. There's more metal beams. That's in pine line though. Okay, so that's a good reason to bring the generator over that way we did get it part of the way that way but it's not all the way more metal rolls more consumables in pine line so yeah we're definitely going to be wanting that over there there's our seismic stuff water monitoring that's not what I expected either so it's just the two then huh or is there another one in here Things that would tell me that it probably garbage. Power lines. This is the one where you have to take that trailer around. Okay. So the thing we're going to do, let me just check something real quick. six minutes and 22 minutes so we're getting close to done so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna go get our long trailer again as we abandon it up there but that's sort of a bummer we have that's closer ah we could grab <laughs> the old trusty fleet star Alright, let's grab that. We're gonna cut again. Uh, I'm gonna make this back to the garage. We don't need to fill this up. But we gotta go get two medium planks so we can do this last part of Derailed 2. And we will be back. Okay, we're back. And I'm just gonna top off of some fuel. See, I told you we'd make it. Yeah, this thing's getting getting about empty. A couple more fill-ups of those uh, little trailers that are about. Actually, we probably won't even be able to fill both of those. So uh, it's going to be buying fuel time. We do still want to use up all of those. We might start doing is using more fuel vehicles instead of those little fuel trailers. Just the one on the long uh, trailer will keep, but... Uh, except I wanted to... up through here. The way to the warehouse is easier if you go through this way. That I do know. Because it's the same for the gas station. Up through this field, kind of go wide. There's a spot that opens up over here. And then there's a spot that opens up to the left of it. Dodge the... We're running grenades. Ooh, we could have went through there, I bet. That looks like a better spot. We'll get our medium planks. 
and then we'll turn this in and that'll be the episode. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully I have resolved my, my woes. Um, this is also going to be the reason why I'm doing this is I'm still trying to prep for our first coming up very soon, uh, stream of expeditions. So keep an eye out for that again. If it's not already announced, I'm still trying to figure out what date and time as of this recording that it becomes actually available. Hopefully by now I know the answer to that question. Uh-oh. I, I felt a stump. Uh, this is not good. I didn't cut soon enough. There's a spot that takes you in before the fuel station. Okay. Let's get these. I gotta figure out a path to get over there, too. Uh, should we go down low and come across and come up this way? Probably. I feel like that's got to be the easier way. Yep, let's do that. Okay. Going straight. Shit. Let's just set it on the ground. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to... I was trying to hit my parking brake. We're not going to lose this. I'm just going to set it on the ground. Okay. Dragon management. Get the correct thing. There's... Yeah, okay. So we get two here, and then there's two for that block. Damn it. I'm just not doing well with loading today. Okay. Saves us 150 bucks. Okay. Let's make a path. Go this way. Uh, we got to cut through the fields again, sort of. And we got our fuel truck over there. We can top off. the muddy spot. Cut up the railroad tracks. Go this way. Uh, I think we're gonna do this again. Felt like that was a safer bet. Getting through there. We go up here. We cut across this little road here. Go up the railroad tracks again. And voila! So yeah, in the next one, like I said, we'll probably... I'm going to investigate what it's going to take to get logging started in the in the downtime. We might also make the long trip to just go bring excess metal rolls and metal beams or possibly go get our trailer and set it over in Pine Line. So we do have our extra... Um, generator. So there's there's some stuff I'm going to do. I have uh, some things I need to do in the preparation phase for the next episode. But yeah, we'll figure it out. It's going to be something probably here, though. I feel like this is a good place to sort of start knocking things out. We have a lot of tasks to do yet, so we could maybe just do some tasks. We could also do another, could do another uh, task compilation as well. That was really fun. I had a good time with that. Shoot, we're doing it again. We gotta go in. I, I keep doing it where I keep trying to avoid this puddle, but... My brain tells me to avoid the puddle, but... 
It was a very bad idea. Yeah, yeah, that thing's almost empty. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start eliminating some of these trails. We'll leave, like, one for the scout. In case we need to, like, do scout tasks. I know there's a couple of... There's quite a few contests I need to do yet as well. Where are we at, anyhow? 56%. A couple percent per episode is going pretty slow, but... Like I said, we'll make a jump here again with, uh... With, like, a compilation episode, probably. Get some tasks knocked out. might make this trip again and do the other set of uh, bricks to get that pass fixed. Yeah, it's been a very, uh, very productive week here. Not a lot done. And like I said, hopefully the the computer woes are coming to an end. It's definitely so like the problem I definitely noticed that when it was it was it was reacting like because I have obviously two monitors and Streamlabs would not only use more memory, but it would also like the mic and the snowrunner audio and that kind of thing that I have set up on the on the actual recording software would like lag out and I, I wouldn't be able to see if it was actually recording or not like it would be a very long delay from when I would stop recording to start recording or mute the mic and not mute the mic but if I mute the mic now like for example yeah it's I just muted it and unmuted it it's instant I can see it on the screen that it, it there's no delay me pressing the button to it it's showing up on the second screen that's not active i think it was uh like an active issue it could have been just because i'm i mean i don't know maybe it's because i wasn't running it as administrator or something but who knows there's you know computer woes my job is to deal with um you know, software development and particularly in very old software not not fixed you know home pcs so. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is we're going to end it here and run the, run up the railroad tracks here turn this in but as always like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next one